And the play clock's running down. Now they'll throw it with Ryan. Getting it out left side to Sanu. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. A handoff, Devontae Freeman. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. That's a tremendous group effort there because when you talk about offensive lines, the best ones talk about guys that play in harmony, in sync, and getting things done, and they did that on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one. Got to be in sync, and they were. Freeman again, a first down carry. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Devontae Freeman, 29 yards. Well, the Falcons are an extra point away from tying the football game. And it's no good. He misses the extra point, and this remains a 7-6 game. Sure to kick it away. This will be fielded at the eight. And nice work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Before the offense changes hands here, let's look back at the Super Bowl February 5th. What a game. I know you were there calling it offensively, though. Impressive on both sides. It certainly was, and let's face it, if you're in Minnesota, it's cold outside, but you talk about the offenses, they heated up in a big way. And how about Nick Foles? The backup quarterback turned MVP. 373 yards, three touchdowns, and of course, the big one receiving on the Philly special. Quite a story. As you and I were talking about off-air, it was just a fluid game. Not a lot of penalties, just really clean play. Exactly the type of game the NFL needed for the audiences at home watching the game, and of course, people in attendance. A really well-played game. And now a timeout defensively by the Falcons. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. And some options here for the offense on second and two. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Hunt. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. He lost four there, and it's third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt, I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. That's a first down if he holds on, but you saw the contact. Able to jar it free from him and force a fourth down. Great play defensively there, as you said, just to knock it free, because if he had caught that, pass the sticks, first down. So they're going to come to the line here, and it appears try to go for it on fourth. They're going to go for it. It's Smith. And it is incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it doesn't pan out, and that will force a turnover on down. I want to give a hat tip real quick, Charles, to J.J. Watt before the possession switches here. Walter Payton, NFL Man of the Year. They totaled up how much he helped raise for hurricane relief, $37 million. Incredible. Hurricane Harvey, which really hit the Houston area in a big way, and his original goal was $200,000. <laughs> so congratulations to J.J. Watt and all the people who participated. And Greg Olson of the Panthers, Benjamin Watson of the Ravens, both tight ends, also nominated and finalist for the most prestigious award as determined by the NFL, the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. 
first play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Second down, Freeman. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. tailback he's got it running left and down inside the 15 he goes a nice pick up there of 11 yards and it'll move the sticks absolutely love the run right there this guy's known for his quickness but also for his speed and he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking always talk about slot receivers and they're usually known as quicker than fast in this case we've got a guy who's quick and fast and he used it to great advantage Ryan on the handoff. It's Freeman. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Devontae Freeman with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Falcons are in for six. And they will line up now for the two-point try. And that'll set them back five. Here's Bryant for the extra point. And he atones for his miss the first time around as this one is up and good to extend their lead. 